do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning uh, that will help me a lot as well so now we are going to solve this problem which says that the spool of wire having weight of 300 pounds rest on the ground at b and against the wall at a determine the normal force acting on the spool at a if p equals to 300 pound the coefficient of static friction between the spool and the ground at b is 0 0.35 the wall at A is smooth. This is very important. If the wall at A is smooth, there will be no friction offered by the wall at A. So this is our free body diagram of the spool. Here we will have uh, P force, uh, 300 pounds given. The weight of the spool is going to act at its center. And it has a magnitude of 300 pounds as well. And at A, we will have the normal force of the wall, which is required. And at N B, we will have the normal force uh, by the surface. And here we will have the friction force, F B. Now, this problem is a little bit different from all the problems that we have solved until this particular point. Now, we do not know that whether this P force is enough uh, to rotate the spool in the counterclockwise direction. So, we do not know that whether this P force uh, will encounter the maximum friction at point B. As we know that the maximum friction at point B will be equal to mu S, which is 0 0.35 times N B. So, if this P force uh, is producing a larger moment than this for friction force, so then this will be enough to, uh, this P force will be enough to pull this cable towards the left. So, we will prove this. So, before that, we will assume that this P force is not enough. If this P force is not enough to pull this rope, so, this, as a result, this spool will be in equilibrium. So, we will apply the equilibrium condition. So, now let's say that this is my positive x and this is my positive y direction. So, we assume that this P force is not enough. So, if this P force is not enough, the spool will be in equilibrium and we are, we are going to apply the summation of uh, forces along x equals to 0, the summation of forces along y equals to 0. And the summation of moment about point O equals to 0. So, the summation of moment about point O equals to 0. And the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So, now as we can see that this and A is passing through this point O. This and B is passing through this point O. And this weight is passing through this point O. So, this P force and this FB, they are producing the moment about that point O. Now, this FB is producing the clockwise moment about this point O. So, I will write minus FB. And the moment arm of this FB from that point O is this distance, which is 3 feet, the radius of the external circle. So, I will multiply this with 3. So, this is the, the clockwise moment produced by FB. And similarly, this P force is producing the counterclockwise moment. So, I will write plus P, which is 300. And the perpendicular distance, the moment arm of this P force from that point O is 1 feet. So, I will multiply this with 1. And this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus 3 FB is equal to minus 300 and if I divide both sides of equation by minus, uh, if I divide both sides of equation by minus 3. So this will cancel out and we will get FB, the small FB equals to 100 pounds. So now if I apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0. Let, let me apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. The summation of forces along y equals to 0. And this is our positive y direction. So, we have this nb acting in the positive y direction. So, plus nb and minus the weight. Weight is acting in the negative y direction. So, this is equal to 0 and nb is equal to 300 pounds. And now, fb max is 0 0.35 times nb. So, 0 0.35 times NB is 300. This gives us 105. This is equal to 105 pounds. So, the friction offered by the surface at B 
is less than f b max. So this means that uh, this p force is not enough to to pull that wire, right? So this means that our assumption is accurate. The system is in equilibrium, right? If this f b force uh, was greater than this f b max. So then our assumption was not accurate since for equilibrium this uh, FB value cannot be greater than 105 pounds. The surface can offer a maximum limiting friction of 105 pounds. So if the, uh, according to our assumption if the FB is greater than this FB max so this means that our assumption of equilibrium is not right since we have assumed that the spool is in equilibrium. So now if FB is less than FB max our assumption is right. I will write that the assumption is right and the system is in equilibrium. So now if the system is in equilibrium, we can apply, we can rely on these equations. Now we can apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero. This is our positive x direction. Now and a is acting in the negative x. So I will write minus n a. And F B is acting in the negative x, so I will write minus F B. P force is acting in the positive x. So this is plus 300. This is equal to 0. And this is minus N A. F B is 100 pounds. So minus 100 plus 300. This is equal to 0. Minus N A. And minus 100 plus 300 gives us plus 200. This is equal to 0 and, and A is equal to 200 pounds. So for P equals to 300 pounds, the surface at A is applying a reaction force of 200 pounds. The normal force equals to 200 pounds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also like these videos. Uh, if you people want me to solve and continue the solution of such more problems from Hibbler statics.